I'm also excited. <laughs> Swear. First guy coming to the stage has a learning disorder and therefore cannot write an effective intro. Ladies and gentlemen, give a big round of applause to Michael Applebaum. All right, well, thank you guys so much for coming out. You have no idea how much this means to the people who take life too seriously. Really appreciate it. And I'm one of those people. I'm a, kind of a nerd. And I don't just say that to throw it around. I really am just a full-blown nerd. This Saturday, I woke up in my bed alone. I did not have a hangover. And when I got out of my bed, I slipped on a pile of comic books, hit my head on a Nerf gun. So I'm not just throwing that out there. Um, dead serious, yeah. Quite tragic, too. Still got the bump. Hence the hat. Um, anyway, people take life too seriously, and it all starts, I think, with the food that we eat. Who here likes organic food? Wow, I thought we had a rich crowd, but I'm glad we don't, because organic food sucks. I hate it. You know, these people who eat it, they want to be, like, all close with nature, and they want to, like, bind with people. Have you guys seen nature? It's fucking disgusting. Nature is gross. I mean, we're talking dirt. We're talking insects, malaria. The shit is whack, and people are no better. See this? We all do it, we all masturbate, and we use these hands to make the food. See, to me, I want my food made far away from nature. I would never pitch a tent in the woods. I don't think most of you would either. And I would never, ever make any food. So I want a factory with robots in it, making my food. That's what I want. You know why? Robots don't poop on things. It's that simple. Case closed, they don't. If they're sick, they get fucking destroyed. Okay, I mean hippies. You know, we have hippies making food. It's just gross. I don't need it, I don't need it at all. And the thing is, this organic food people like to say it makes them healthier. You ever seen Mark McGuire? That guy, the baseball guy who got steroids, he injected himself with these crazy chemicals and now he can lift the truck over his head. That's what I want to be. I want to do that, and I'm not going to get there by eating fucking Flintstone vitamins. You get there by injecting weird-ass shit into yourself. Get over it and just go for it, I say. But, you know, I tried that, and it didn't work. So I thought I'd take a different approach and be one of those firefighters. Anyone like firefighters? Well, firefighters kind of suck. And I'm real sorry, I'm gonna have to disappoint some of you guys here. But I did try to become one of them, so I feel like I've earned the right. I went down and said, hey guys, I wanna do what you do. And they said, fine, put on a yellow helmet and you can come on a run with us. So I did, and um, we went on a run, and we got to this building. And this building was like on fucking fire, right? A building, <laughs> it blew my mind. I was like, what the fuck is this? All right, so we get out of the truck, and they say, stay here, we're gonna run in, and we're gonna fight the fire. I'm like, what? You're going in there? That thing's on fucking fire. You're not going in there. Did your mother raise you better than that? And they looked at me and said, well, we're firefighters. That's what we do. I'm like, bullshit. You guys make calendars. You're not going in there. That's fucking ridiculous. And um, they took my helmet away. I had to walk home. Not a good day for me at all. I kind of didn't feel it. You know why they do what they do? They do it so they can ride around at 4 in the morning and wake us up with their stupid sirens, it's a head game. And I have enough problems sleeping as it is. I live off campus, and um, there's always these parties going on in the parking lot of my apartment building. It drives me nuts, and what really pisses me off are the guys who do it, they have these little excuses for why it's okay to get drunk that day. Oh, it's Mashed Monday, Tipsy Tuesday, Wasted Wednesday, Thirsty Thursday, Fucked Up Friday, and the weekends just don't count. It's okay to get drunk on the weekends. Yay, College Park! All right, fucking pisses me off. Look, if you're gonna drink, drink. No one gives a shit. Stop rationalizing it. You don't need to do that. It's just not necessary. Anyway, I asked one of my friends, what should I do about this? He said, get some white noise going in your apartment. That'll cancel it all out. You'll sleep just fine. Didn't fucking work. You try falling asleep listening to the Dixie Chicks. Never, ever, ever works. You know, they piss me off, but they aren't the worst of the entertainment industry. To me, the epitome of suck, the blue man group. Because, you know, how the fuck does that even happen? You know, you know what it takes for a loser like me to get up onto a stage and talk to all of you? This is fucking hard. And these guys are sitting in like their mother's basement trying to figure out how to get a job, make some money. And one of them says, oh, let's just get a regular desk job. And they're like, nah. And one of them says, hey, let's sell our crap online. Nah. So the third guy says, hey, 
Why don't we uproot the plumbing in my mother's house, paint ourselves fucking blue of all things, go on a stage, throw toilet paper at people, and fucking charge them? Why the fuck does that work? It doesn't work. It's ridiculous. You know how much I'm getting paid to do this? I'm paying to do this. It's fucking crazy. And I guarantee you what I'm doing is a lot fucking harder. So you know what? Fuck you, Blue Man Group. I hate you, but I love all of you. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Michael Applebaum, everybody. Keep it going. Awesome. I hate the Blue Man Group, too. <laughs>